So lately I've been thinking about this one sandwich in a cookbook I had a long time ago. And it was essentially a British buddy. If you don't know what that is, it's the classic British sandwich. It has bread and butter slathered on the bread and then British style bacon, maybe some brown sauce on it, some buttered bread on top. This cookbook had this really, really funky twist on a bacon buddy. They had, of course, the bread and the butter and the British style bacon, but they also put gravlax on there. Now gravlax is the Scandinavian cure cured salmon. It's not cooked, it's cured. Then they put mango chutney on top of that. It is so, so good. It's amazing. But I really started to think this would work really, really well as a version of the iconic Danish sandwich Smurbrel. I've done some videos on Smurbrel before. It's made with an extraordinarily hearty rye bread called Rookbrod. Now Rookbrod is really, really difficult to get, at least for me it is. But there are some really fantastic, readily available German-style pumpernickels with whole rye berries that are really, really hearty and an excellent substitution for Rookbrod. So that's what we're going to do. British style bacon is significantly different than American style bacon. It's kind of a cross between Canadian bacon and American bacon. It has the loin part of the pig on it, but it also has the fat back. So I kind of want to do something a little bit different. Now my go-to when I want to do something interesting and different with bacon is prosciutto. Prosciutto's great. It's not super expensive. It makes a really fantastic, kind of fancy substitution. And if you use it right in subtle ways, it really adds a big punch to the back of your throat. And then we're going to add gravlax. So gravlax are just cured salmon. Essentially, you take a salmon filet, you cover it liberally in salt, sugar, juniper berries, probably some dill, and you let it cure for a long period of time. And then you take it out of there, you rub it off. That's gravlax. Now, if you want to go the step further and make it lox, it gets a little bit more complicated. There's Nova Scotia style lox where we take almost that exact thing and then put it in a cold smoker and cold smoke it for a period of time and it gets nice and smoky. Cold smoking is important because we do not want to cook the salmon at this point. It just should be smoked and cured. I think that a smoked salmon is going to be too much. So I'm using Grav lox in this. You can find it in the store. It's readily available. And then we're going to put a really nice mango chutney on top of that. This should be absolutely fantastic. So let's go cook it and see how it is. Let's start with a nice slice of German rye. I'm going to cut this into four pieces. It makes it just a little bit easier to manage and it seems kind of fancy. Now let's spread this with some room temperature butter. This is unsalted butter. I prefer unsalted butter for this recipe because there is more than enough salt with the gravlax and the prosciutto. Liberally spread the butter on each slice. Now let's cut the prosciutto into four pieces. Cutting the prosciutto this way makes it a little bit easier to manage because each prosciutto piece is bite-sized. So let's fold the prosciutto over and place it on the sandwich. Each one of these sandwiches should be about two bites worth. This actual size would make a really nice appetizer. You could cut these in half for a single bite and that would go really, really well at a cocktail party. Let's do the same thing for the last two pieces of sandwich. Just try to cut these in equal pieces, then fold them over and place them on the sandwich. Iberico ham would be an excellent substitute if you couldn't find prosciutto. That would be really fabulous in this dish. 
Let's place the grab locks on this. I'm just going to place a single slice of grab locks right over the prosciutto. And finally, the mango chutney. Put about a half a teaspoon dollop on top of each bite. Just a little bit, not too much. Mango chutney has a very strong flavor. There we go. Let's plate this and we'll be done. That is really fantastic. It's really simple, but it just has so many complex flavor things going on. Let's talk a little bit about why this works. The combination of bacon or ham and salmon is really common. It's a little bit less uncommon if you take lox or prosciutto. This is really a great combination that go together so well. And that mango chutney just drives it home in a very, very similar way that brown sauce really accentuates a bacon buddy. This is so fantastic. I think if I were going to do this again, I would add a little bit more butter. I really felt like it needed a little bit more liberal coating of butter on the slices. So if you do that, add a little bit more butter to it. It'll be fantastic. The pumpernickel is absolutely classic with lox. It's really hearty. It's a great platform for this. This is so fantastic. And you saw how easy it was. Super easy not expensive. There's a couple things you can do to make this extra fancy. Take the prosciutto, heat up a non-stick pan over like medium, medium high heat, and then take this individual slices of prosciutto and put them in the pan. You don't need any oil. Just put them in a non-stick pan, about 30 seconds on one side, 30, 45 seconds, flip it over 30, 45 seconds on the other side, then take it and place it on a paper towel or a lint-free napkin and just let that sit for a little bit. It gets super crispy. That would be really, really good here. That would add a little bit of a fanciness that would be absolutely fantastic. There's a couple things you can use this for. Obviously just a regular sandwich. This also would be absolutely fantastic as an appetizer or maybe something like at a cocktail party that would be really great oh you really should try this because it's absolutely fantastic dead easy and it really has a super exotic sort of quality to it thanks for watching i really appreciate it click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video thanks again and take care of yourself stay safe